Where did I put my mask? Oh. <coughs> Mason. Eden? Rosa told me you're moving out. Rosa never lies. But why? There, there. You sound almost unhappy about it. Well, I don't understand what's going on. Well, what's going on, dear sister, is that you now have the entire house free to yourself to roam all on your own. Something I should have done years ago. This is your home, Mason. I mean, why, why all of a sudden do you want to move out? Want to? Yeah. I had no choice in the matter. What are you saying? I'm saying I was told to leave. By whom? By His Majesty. But Dad would never make you move out. He likes having us here. <laughs> he likes having some of us here, not me. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure you two just had a misunderstanding. Oh, no, no. I think we understood each other quite well. I certainly understood the letter he sent me telling me I was disinherited. What? That's right. Oh, he included a token amount just to make it clear that I wasn't forgotten. Just to make it crystal clear that I wasn't forgotten. Mason, what are you talking about? Why don't you uh, talk to Dad about it? He'll tell you. I'm sure he has a version that you'll find interesting. Mason, what's going on? I, uh, I will give you a little advice, though, if you're not adverse. Advice from your brother? What kind of advice? About how to deal with our father. If I were you, I would never, ever even consider crossing him. And don't disappoint him either. Or, uh, he'll turn on you like a snake. Mason. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. If you're going into the family business, I'd suggest you heed them. If I were you, I'd make it a point never to get in his way or in the way of anything that he wants. And make dead sure that you never try to change his mind. Because uh, his mind, well, let's face it, it's getting a little old and rusty and uh, looks kind of like an old steel trap. Can't open anymore. Hiya, Dad. Oh, it's your turn, Dad. Tell Eden what's behind my moving out. She's uh, expressed an interest in the subject. Mason. Come on, Dad, don't be shy. You certainly didn't hesitate when it came to accusing me. Why hesitate now? Come on, tell her what a truly terrible guy you think I am. Be sure and tell her that it's all based on the flimsiest of evidence. Capital residence? Yes. Yes. Yes, I want to see him as soon as possible. As soon as he's conscious. Thank you. Peter Flint's condition has improved markedly. He's coming out of his coma. Dad, Dad, what is going on? What is Mason talking about? We'll find out. What? We'll find out. As soon as Peter Flint is conscious, we'll find out the answers to all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> 